coming to the show and also by the kind people displaying their vehicles. So I'm going to really just pass over to um, Councillor Bruce Tennant, who's Eastleigh Mayor, and just officially get him to open the show for us. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really pleased to be here today. Uh, I've been a mayor now since, since May and I've met quite a few uh, charitable organisations and this one is one of the, the bigger ones, I would say. This year uh, for Na Naomi House and Jack's Place, it's a, it's a real big deal because this is the 10th uh, time, 10th anniversary that uh, the Concord Club have been so kind to, to lay on their premises for this uh, this day, this for the, the car show. Uh, I'd like to thank the sponsors because without the sponsors, this wouldn't be possible either. Um, Skanska, Sporting Bears, uh, as well as the Concord of, of, of Club, of course. Uh, the, the charity itself, it costs quite a lot of money to run, about eight million pounds. Uh, so uh, we hope that people will be digging deep in their pockets today uh, to help the, 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 uh, the day be a success. Uh, so I now formally open the car show. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Mayor, for that. That's fantastic. Some thanks for myself as well and all our team. Charity car show for Naomi House. So um, I have basically one of the representatives, Nicole Davies from Naomi House. Nicole, can you tell us a little bit about Naomi House and why it's so important that we run these events? Of course. Um, Hospices are based up in Sutton Scotland, just outside of Winchester. We have our main Easter Children Hospice, which is Naomi House, and then we have our Young People's Hospice, which is Jack's Place, which is all on the same site. It costs us £8.5 million a year to, to run both our services, which includes mainly respite, which is at hospices. We also do emergency care, community care, and our animal life services as well. We've got two end of life suites on site as well that we run, um, and we only receive about 10% from the government, so we really need everybody to send, you know, everybody's support to get the Well, thank you. It is, if I'm right, it's around about £13,000 a debt that Naomi House needs to start. Yeah, we're just, just over 11 at the moment uh, to, to run all the uh, across both businesses and our, our community as well, yes. So that's a huge amount of money, and luckily, as it's our 10th anniversary, yesterday we ran a charity ball. Uh, here at the Concord Club. First time we've done that, really successful. We raised about three and a half thousand pounds last night. So that's great. So we've got a real good kick punch to get involved. So let's hope that everybody coming along to the show day, today digs deep, gives a contribution to a lot of the boxes saying thank you very much. And hopefully we get a lot of people coming to the show and having a wonderful sunny day. So again, I'm back in the uh, main arena and I've actually managed to capture Batman. So uh, thank you very much for coming along with your fantastic car as well, Batman. Good to help. So a spectacular vehicle you've got here and uh, you've got all the equipment on your belt. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the stuff you've got. You've got the grappling hooks uh, for climbing things, smoke grenades and anything else to disperse crowds should it get out of hand. Well, we've got security here then, so fantastic. And I love the uh, equipment you've done. The attention to detail on it is brilliant. And we've brought Bat Lady along as well. So you look fantastic as well. So thank you ever so much for coming along to our show. All yours. Well done. 
So um, in the main arena again, and this time I've come to, I think, probably the oldest car we have on display today in the uh, car show. It's a uh, uh, Austin 7. Um, it's owned by John and Maureen. So John, tell me a little bit about the car. There was a 1932 box saloon, um, three-speed crash gear box, um, gravity feed fuel tank, so it's tanks under the bonnet. Um, Little tyres, motorbike tyres really, um, not very fast, it's not very good on braking either, but, so you learn to drive totally different, you know, but it's not, and you can't go fast. So you, you have to basically book about when you've got to stop them. You do, you, you, you plan traffic lights, you know, you can come on. They're fantastic cars. My father, as I said to you before one year, had one of these and uh, beautiful cars. Now, he used to drive on, travel all the way down to Devon and uh, go down the line on those sort of areas. Isn't it just? That's an absolute beast of that motor. Yes. Love to talk about it. <laughs> they have to get the passengers out, they have to walk up the hill. Fortunately, she doesn't fly very much, so she's delayed. <laughs> but you've been a great supporter to us over the years, yeah, so fantastic for coming so along. It. And uh, it's a beautiful car, I have yeah, to say. Thank you. Looks like you've had uh, new paint on this. Is this new? Well, no, or? no, it was done before I bought it, actually. Um, we just um, we just got it shiny. It was a pretty, pretty poor paint job, actually. So we spent a lot of time polishing and arrived at this. Well, it looks brand new, to be honest. Yeah. So I think you've done a sterling job on it. So thank you ever so much for coming along to the show yeah, again. No, no, Hope to see you. you next year. Yeah, thanks yes. for having me. Yeah, definitely. Yes, thank you. Love Love it. It. Thank, thank you very you. much. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. have been supporting the show for many years now. Phil, tell me a little bit about Mini Motors. They were built in the early 60s. 
um, mainly built in, in Longbridge in Britain. They then sold the rights onto Portugal and finally Australia. But this is a, a very rare 1967 English moment. I did look on hamneylift.com, where it seems 48 still exist that year. We restored this one six years ago. Full, full body mechanical. They built and one of them in the start of the and you can see you've got even the dinky toy version of it here. And I have to say the colour coordination of it, and I love your jacket as well, you have really the stripes matching the colour. Yeah, So we're in the uh, main arena again, and I'm having a look around some of the cars, and uh, I'm with Dom at the moment. Now, Dom has actually done very well with the car show for the last couple of years, actually. He's always been uh, one car of the show for the last two years. So, Dom, tell me a little bit about your wonderful Ford Pop. Uh, it's a 1956 Ford Pop. Uh, came to us in a bit of a mess. Uh, we spent two and a half years building it into what you see. Um, it runs a Rover V8 with a Wave 32 supercharger. Um, kept it for seats, we use it for weddings and proms and stuff as well. Um, and uh, it's proved to be, until yesterday afternoon, extremely reliable. <laughs> what happened yesterday afternoon? <laughs> it decided not to start when we were prepping it to bring it here. Uh, it burnt the coil out. I think we must have left the ignition on or something. So, a mad rush of fire. Next thing in the fire of the coil. We're really pleased to see it again. It's a phenomenal car. The paintwork is just awesome. I love the two tone colour on it. And the uh, supercharger on the top one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I'd like to take uh, my attractive assistant in the present event there uh, is away, so therefore someone else is doing. Um, he's got the rubber. <laughs> he's got the rubber uh, earplugs, so if you want to have those. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go for it. So cover your ears. Thank 
five. So brilliant. Hopefully everybody covered their ears are okay. Front of the show, and actually I'm with Hugh Page uh, from the Sporting Bears. So Hugh, tell me a little bit about Sporting Bears. Okay, Sporting Bears, we're a national motor club. Our members own and drive the wonderful cars you can see out the front here. So we're a national club, we're in the South East here. 200 members, always looking for more. What we do is we offer people the opportunity to donate to one of the children's charities we're supporting and for which they get a 10 mile, 20 minute dream ride, dream ride passenger ride out on the public roads. So if I'm right in saying the, the owners of the vehicles give their money, their time, totally free, they don't get paid a penny for this do they? No, we uh, don't pay them an absolute penny. <laughs> they do it because of the love of it, they do it because of uh, giving something back. And I really appreciate, you know, uh, Hughes supported us over the last probably seven, eight years I think coming along to the car show with the Koala version of the um, Sporting Bears and actually they really bring a lot of money into Naomi House every year for us so we really appreciate and actually today we've got the Mayor who's actually been out for a dream ride as well so uh, Councillor Tennant tell me a little bit about your ride. Well, absolutely fantastic it's not every day that you get to, to be a passenger even in, in these sorts of vehicles uh, yeah, it was hair raising in many respects no. because, because there was no, no roof. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, a, a brilliant, uh, a, br a brilliant uh, 15 minutes or so uh, on the on the motorway. Uh, sorry to recommend it. Uh, please dig deep in your pockets and come along and and, uh, and have a go. Uh, you know, these guys, as, uh, as Hugh has just said, uh, they're doing this at the kindness of their hearts. They're doing it for absolutely nothing. So please. Uh, Dig deep in your pockets and, uh, and donate to a, a really good charitable cause. Well, it's just fantastic. It shows you that we've got so many kind, generous people supporting the car show every year. And without the assistance of people like this, we wouldn't be able to be as successful as we are. So we're really appreciative to everybody, not only Sporting Bears, but everybody who helps with the car show. Oh, it's an AK Cobra. It's uh, a replica built by myself. And it's taken over two years to do it. And I enjoy every minute of it. And it's a fantastic looking car. I mean, there are very few original AC Cobras out on the roads these days. And uh, this is me being biased, but mine's a replica as well. And they are fantastic cars. A lot of time and effort goes into building these vehicles. They look beautiful. John's done a beautiful job with this car. It's really nice, very loud as well, so uh, sounding as well. So um, John's going to start it up again for us. We can make sure people, the side pipes is where the noise is coming out from these. All right. So just just be careful. One, it's going to be really hot, so don't go near the pipe. Two, cover your ears, please. Make sure you're okay. So, Chris, um, are you starting yours in the startup for us? Was that the agreed car? I can't remember. Where's Adam? Was it Chris's? Yeah. Okay. Right here. So, Chris is going to start his. No, no, that's fine. Chris is not going to take it to the limit. I fully understand he hasn't really warmed it up. So, um, we're just going to start it up in a second. I might move his leg so we don't get this door into the uh, car next to him. Point leg. So that comes back as our reading as 122. So thank you very much, Chris. Oh. Yes. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, the luck. Oh, come on. Who's giving me this car? Yes. Yes. The car is a driver. It's not the car, it's a driver. It's a driver. Okay. This car is terrible. I'm not racing this in the final. Unless we're in the final. Good luck. Good luck.
Fantastic lads. Great supporters of the car show, so we love to have those cars along. Thank you ever so much to everybody who's come along to the car show today. Hope you've had a wonderful time. Next year our car show is on, I believe, the 1st of September. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all then. Um, we, won't take, we won't start taking bookings for cars until basically beginning of January 2019. Let's hope we have another wonderful car show. As soon as I know how much we've made, I'll let everybody know out on Facebook and Twitter. But one big thank you to you all. And if you've got any spare change on your way out, stick it in some of the buckets or go to the Naomi House stand, because every penny makes a difference. But thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Well done.